the Marshall Arena, Milton Keynes, where on day two of the Coral Tour Championship, Judd Trump set up a semi-final against Stephen Maguire by beating John Higgins 9-4. On then to our third quarter-final, three-time world champion Mark Selby making the ideal start, shading the opening frame thanks to this well-cued blue. But despite being only 20 years old, Yan Bingtao is already a wily tactician, and in frame two, the youngster plays Selby in a fiendish snooker. Any form of effective escape proved beyond the former world number one, as Yan stepped in with a run of 61 to equalise prior to establishing a 3-1 lead at the mid-session interval. One. Potting with authority, looking capable of claiming another major scalp. And yet, on the restart, Selby engaged a much higher gear in securing the following three frames. His revival launched by a 99 break. Suddenly in stroke, Selby followed up by fashioning a vintage 119 clearance to draw level, his 44th century of a season in which he's completed the English and Scottish Open title double. A run of 61 then helped Selby lead 4-3, but in the closing frame of the afternoon, a jawed black, then a missed red to middle, allowed Jan to tie the scores at 4-4, and tee up the final session perfectly. From there, Selby went on to lead 6-5, but frame 12 saw a thrilling finish. What a final black that was from Jan to tie the scores, but snooker's a cruel game, a fact of which Jan was reminded after a tense battle on the respotted black. Feast your eyes on this. What a fluke. Outlandish and timely in equal measure, gifting Selby a 7-5 advantage. In the wake of that, it was no surprise Selby had an extra spring in his step. And he capitalised by compiling a 105 break to forge 8-5 in front. The black bringing up Selby's second century of the day. Jan stoically pulled a frame back, only for Selby to produce a gem of a shot with frame 15 on the line. In floating in the penultimate red, he released the other from the side cushion and a couple of minutes later was on the pink to prevail. Selby gets the verdict at 9-6. The first few frames was obviously quite ropey, uh, but then after that I felt as though I played OK considering obviously not played many matches since Gibraltar uh, and even in Gibraltar when I played there I didn't play great and only played two matches so considering we not had that much match practice and, and not that sharp from 3-1 I felt as I played okay. All of that leaves only one semi-final place to be occupied. Selby awaits the winner of our attractive day four matchup between a couple of firm friends, England's Sean Murphy and Northern Ireland's Mark Allen. Given their pedigree, ranking and general status within the game, that's a tricky one to call. But undoubtedly beyond dispute is that Selby's tickled pink at the Coral Tour Championship.